Hello friends. I hope you were able to complete assignment one. In case if you have faced any challenges, please let me know in the comment box so that I will help you out. And the task of F, which is like you have to find out an another mathematical operation which was not part of task A to E. The result, the operation, I would like to look into them in the comment box. Please post it. Another important concept that we are going to study in this is data types. Welcome to day four proceedings, which is data types. What do you mean by data type? Data type is nothing but a piece of information that tells your computer how to interpret its value. So let's break it down into a simple words. Now you are able to hear my voice and your brain is able to recognize that I am speaking in English. Suddenly, if I switch over my language to Kannada, your brain is able to understand that I am speaking in Kannada. It tries to switch and interprets the information through Kannada. Correct? In the same way, your machine also should be able to understand what, what is the kind of information, how to interpret it. That is why we give so much importance to this data types. In Python, very broadly, you can consider different data types as text, numeric, sequence, mapping, boolean, and sets. There is another category called as none category. If it doesn't belong to this category, it can belong to another category called as none. We will discuss one by one in detail. So let's start with the first data type, which is text. So let's begin with day four proceedings. As a topic, it is data types. Let's start with first data type, which is, say, suppose I have a variable. Okay, You must have, you can recollect like what we have done previously, right? So A was a variable in this case. B is a variable in this case. Similarly, I'm declaring a variable by name, by the word, keyword name. Okay. So where I will give equal to, within double quotes, I will write my name. Okay. Now, name is a variable which is given with some set of alphabets, right? When I execute it, so now name is a variable which has some kind of a data in it. Let's try understanding what kind of data type is that. I will write TYP type of whatever is the variable name that I have given, NAME. And I will print, I will write here only, print the type of variable. So when I execute it by pressing shift, okay, shift and enter. So you can see now it belongs to the data type string, right? So what is the take home message that whenever I have a set of characters, right? So, I will be declaring them as a string. STR stands for string kind of a data type. Okay. So, what is a string? String is referring to the sequence of characters that can contain either alphabets or numbers or special symbols or blank spaces. It can contain either of them. Let's try with one more thing. I will say name2 is equal to 
I will put all possibles. Right? I mean to say Kaushik K U space. Space is another kind of a thing I can give, or I can give symbols and numbers. Right? I will copy paste the same thing. I'm printing the type of name too. It is still string, but what I want to showcase is so it can be a sequence of characters or I mean alphabets, numbers, special characters or symbols, blank spaces. Right? Please try out this. This is a first data type which is for textual kind of a data. Okay, and the data type that we are referring to is called as strings. Please try it out. Thank you. See you in the next video.